Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing a set of darts that were sent to me by Kieran, Kieran Calhoun, I think that's how you pronounce his surname, from Scottish Lad Does Darts Reviews, or Slidder, as I like to abbreviate it. And if you don't know Kieran, he's been doing his channel for probably about a year now. Now the amazing thing is, everything he's done on his channel, he's just done with his mobile. All the video footage, editing, everything on his mobile. So he's actually really improving quickly and the fact that he's still doing it on his mobile uh, just amazes me. There's no way I could be doing all that on my mobile. It just irritates the life out of me doing it on the little screen. But anyway, like a lot of people have been doing recently and like I've already done reviews of some people are getting their own custom made darts and other people are saying oh can I have one so they tend to get quite a, a batch and Kieran got 40 sets made of his darts and I think he may have sold them all out uh, by now but he sold them for 30 quid each and it was barrels only he has sent a little uh, case and a point holder with them uh, but the 95% tungsten and got quite a nice grip on them actually and they've also got a touch of blue, but as we know, this is a green channel. Now, I have got Scottish an ancestry, so that's probably why blue is my second favourite colour. But I've also got Irish, Welsh, and obviously English, but I still like green the best. <laughs> but there we are, just a quick look at them. I'll show you a better look in a minute, but really nice grip on them. And this is kind of like a trial run, so he's got 40 sets made. I don't know if he's sold them all yet, but like I say, he'll be selling them for 30 quid, but he is going to get more made in January. So if you fancy a set, I'll put the links up in the description so you can get in touch with him. And also, if you check out his channel and subscribe, just to help him out, he's putting quite a lot of effort into it. And like I say, I'm amazed he's doing it all on his mobile. He's got some patience for doing it like that. But anyway, I'll just go over like i normally do with the reviews uh but obviously it's barrels only um we'll have to put some green stems and flights on there just to counteract that blue <laughs> so let's check them out so he's marked them down as 23.5 gram and 95 percent tungsten it's only in steel tip and only in that weight and like I said, the retail for £30, but he has decided to call them the Air Force One. More about that at the end of the video. So like I said, Kim sent them in this plastic case, and he sent them with a point protector. But I don't know if that's how he's going to send them when he does the next batch. But that's basically it. So the darts fitting with a black coated point, it's a classic straight barrel ring grip style but you've got a tapered nose and obviously as you can see it's got the name of the channel written on the nose there, SLDDR, Slider, Scottish Lad Does Dart Reviews and apart from that smooth section at the nose and that little bit on the very end of the barrel it's got grip the full length and it may not look it but it's actually a really grippy dart it's a very fine double ring grip with lateral cuts through it on the front and on the rear section and in the middle you've got a micro grip on the rings and the grooves are painted blue but there's something there whether you're a middle front or rear gripper and it's surprising how grippy that feels. I think it's just down to the thinness of the edges and also the fact that it's new. It's got a very edgy feel. Uh, how long that'll stay once you start wearing it, I don't know. But as it's new, it's a really nice feel and grip. And I just put some Condor Zero Stress Flights on. So there's a slightly tapered front nose and as you can see it's a very fine double thin ring grip but it's got these lateral cuts going through it around the middle you've got a ring grip with a kind of a micro grip on top and obviously the blue painted grooves on the rear section it mirrors the front section again a double thin ring grip with the lateral cuts going through 
and just a small smooth section on the end of the barrel so there you go that's the super close look at the slider darts the darts fit with a black coat of 25 millimeter point you've got a tapered smooth nose that's 7.6 millimeters then you've got the first section of the double thin ring grip with the lateral cuts that's 14.7 millimeters around the middle it's a normal ring grip but some of the rings have got micro grip on and the Grooves are painted blue, that's 9.2 millimetres. The rear half, similar to the front half, that's 18.7 millimetres. Small smooth section on the end of 1.8 millimetres. Length is 52 millimetres, width is 6.4 millimetres. Twenty three point six grams and twenty three point six five grams. Here's a balance with nothing attached and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Pretty grippy dart overall but it may also depend on how the grip interacts with the individual skin but for me I find it uh, surprisingly grippy so 8 at most. First one, I think the grip kind of took me by surprise. A little bit more sticky than I was expecting. I think it's just because the uh, there's so many fine cuts and edges on it, and it's it it's hard to describe. But if you just put your fingers along lightly, you don't really feel it so much. But the slightest bit of pressure, and then you can really feel it biting into your skin. Whether it'll stay like that for long, I don't know because. You probably don't want it to stay as grippy as that. Oh. <laughs> but certainly more grippy than I thought it was going to be. Um, let's try to think what that does it remind me of. I don't know, was it the, uh, the Jose darts? Or one of them darts, it's got a very fine ring style grip with lots of little edges and that's what this kind of feels like but a little bit longer than what I normally like but actually when I'm getting the release right on it it's flying really nice now on the middle section I'm gripping it where the blue rings are and it's still actually quite grippy but because my thumb is fairly wide, I'm still getting a lot of the more grip, grippier part, I should say, either side. But those rings in the middle still got that really sharp, edgy feel. When you look at it though, it doesn't look as if it should be that grippy, but I see it's probably down to the thin cuts. Certainly flies all right from the middle, but that is off always the case. Straight barrel darts, they will fit any style, whether you're front, middle, or rear. And this one, uh, Kieran's made it with the grip pretty much the full length of the darts. So if you do like a grippy dart, you're gonna like it. Yeah, very nicely balanced from the middle and also with the rings being there nice easy quick reference point oh, that's well stuck in <laughs> so you can easily locate that but like I say if you've got fairly wide thumbs and fingers you're definitely going to get plenty of the grip by the side of them rings I 
actually spun quite a lot on that second one. The first and last one, I think I threw with a little bit more of a relaxed grip. So I didn't have it quite as tight, but the second one, I think it just had all of it a little bit too tight and didn't release it cleaner. And I think that could be the reason why it may be too grippy for some. You just get like a little bit of stickiness to the skin. And it is spinning a lot more for me from the rear section, but actually I don't really mind the grip. It's just the problems that I have with my past injuries. So I don't always get a clean release, but overall I do prefer this kind of grip. It is a really nice grippy feeling, but you grip it too tight and you pay the price. Nope, all over now. Uh, that last one actually threw really smooth, but <laughs> it just didn't see it already powering, it just dipped. So there you go, well, that's the slider darts. Now actually, uh, Kieran has decided to name them another name and because he comes from Air in Scotland, he's going to be calling these the Air Force One darts, which is a really neat play on words. Um, so I will put the description into Kieran's channel so if you can subscribe to his channel and if you fancy a set of the darts like I said I don't know if he's got any left now but he will be getting some more made and it is a really nice grip on these and um, it may be deceptively too grippy for some I think it all depends on how much pressure you put on Sometimes I have problems with my release, like I say. Sometimes I can hold it really light and get the feel of the dart, and sometimes it just feels like I've got nothing in my hand at all. And it's usually why I prefer a little bit more grip, and I do really like the grip on these. Um, but like I say, it should work for front, middle, or rear grippers, and it's just a classic style which suits many people. So I'll put all the details up in the description, like I said, and if you fancy a set, Get in touch with Kieran and he'll sort you out. But like I said, he may be sometime after Christmas when he gets more in. But uh, another nice custom made set there. Quite a few people have uh, sent me custom darts of late and they've all done really neat jobs. And these are 95% uh, tungsten as well. So pretty good for that. Um, so I'll put some pictures in the description uh, in the gallery so you can have a closer look at them and hopefully you'll be able to see the grip a little bit better and like I said it's very fine and thin cut edges and I think it could be mostly down to the newness of the edges why it feels so grippy how long that's gonna last who knows but anyway you can have a look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so I'll see you on the next one happy darting